Hello. I'm Protomy. Welcome to another episode of Protomy Plays Mario Maker 2. Got more levels from the Waypoint community. Form link below as always. Let's just get right into it. This is Big Beautiful Blue Sky. It's a good name by Heartnote. Uh, Heartnote on the forums as well. Oh, I need to change my buttons. I was using my Mega Drive controller. So everything's wrong. I love the Super Mario World Sky theme. Oh, that was a hole. <laughs> Whoops. I just clearly didn't even see that. Oh well. Do this. Oh, so many coins. Huh. Oh, there's like it's a Oh like this so far. I don't need all these coins. I don't need that either. Can't go down this. No, I need to go up the ramp. I thought I could cheat and fly up. Wouldn't be one of these episodes if I didn't try and break a level and fail. Oh. Oh, and I've failed even more. I probably needed that cape. Uh, where are we not? I have played so little Mario Maker since the last episode of this. I've been slowly working on a level. I've been trying to finish Valkyrie Chronicles 4, which I mentioned before, and I finally did that. And Marvel Ultimate Alliance just came out, and it's real good. Oh god, I need to actually nail that. So Mario Maker kind of fell down the, by the wayside a bit. I basically used this series as a way excuse <laughs> to play more of it. Oh god! That was silly. Oh, I thought you could. I thought you could spin jump on those. I don't think you can. Give it to me. Oh god, there's a timer. I mean, there's always a timer, but. I'm low. Nope. Damn. I'm missing all these easy jumps. So few levels really use the cape, so. And it's been a while since I've played Mario World itself. Let's do this. Mario. Oh, we did it. Oh, that was just luck. Okay, well at least we've run out of time, we've got a checkpoint. Oh god. Haha, <laughs> I didn't know he fell out. I thought I was going to have to kill him entirely to get this. I didn't need to kill him, I'm just vindictive. Oh, he jump out. I got the extra life, which is great. It's really useful for course world. Go, you say. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Koopas everywhere. Koopas shouldn't have wings. I mean, you know what, Koopas can have whatever wings they want, I'm not, I'm not going to judge. I'm not going to kink shame those Koopa wings. That was a good level. It was a nice, kind of, just like, not overcomplicated. I feel like a lot of those players are like, you know, very puzzly or difficult, which, again, nothing wrong with those, I enjoy playing them. But I like a good, simple, just, like, Good theme level. <laughs> yeah, like this. Let's leave a comment. Uh, beat it. Enjoyed that one. So, good job, heart note. On to the next one. Next up, we have An Adventure of Link by Cody's EU or Cody Davies TV on the forum. 
Uh, they made that remember your spin jump level from the last episode. Or maybe the episode before, I forget. Um, and I remember I looked through the other levels and was like, I can't wait to see this Adventure of Link one. So, Zelda inspired. Let's see how this goes. Ugh. Good old original Mario Brothers. Seems surprisingly few original Mario Brothers levels, I think. I wonder if it's all just little kind of puzzle rooms like this. Oh god. Ah! That's a lot of those Koopas. I could call them turtles, but that's, that's untrue. They're not turtles, clearly. Oh my god, can I... Oh god, I was hoping I could cheat and get up there, but I messed up. It's definitely doable though. Man, original Mario Bros. music's great. All the music in this game is great, really. Oh, I tried to pick that bob bomb up and remembered that's not a thing. To be fair though, these guys also not a thing in the original Mario Brothers. Oh Jesus! Oh jeez! That was not good. <laughs> For me that is. Alright. At least there's this checkpoint here. Let's get through this dungeon. I mean, it wouldn't be Adventure of Link if it wasn't brutally difficult in places. Because that game... If you've never played Zelda 2, one, you don't really need to, but two, it's weird and different from basically every other Zelda game and kind of worth playing just because it's so weird. Oh, there's a key back there, clearly. I should have realised that. Oh god, I'm definitely going to die. Uh... Uh... What am I doing? Why? <laughs> Why is that for a plant on the hat of all those moles? That's especially silly. Oh, jeez. Okay. Alright. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> that kind of caught me off guard. Let's do it. Um. This will be. I'm not been keeping real track of the numbers of these episodes, but I think this will be the tenth episode, which is, let me tell you, like nine episodes longer than I thought this would be running. <laughs> like I didn't. Oh, I did the same thing again. Um, I thought I'd make like one episode, no one watch it, and then I'd go back to making all the other stuff that I didn't make. Um, so that's cool. I was thinking I'm going to be streaming out an episode in the future as well. And just actually getting on that Twitch stuff. But I'm not really set up for it just now. I mean, that's somewhat of a lie. I could totally just hit a button on this and do uh, it. I just wouldn't have face cam, which I'll be honest, I can live with. Ah! No one needs to see my face. It also doesn't help that I sit in like a dark room playing this most of the time because that's how I play video games. <laughs> that was a dumb death. Uh, I was thinking about other things. Yeah, so I just wouldn't be able to, you know, have face cam with this setup. I would need lights. I mean, my room has lights, but you know what I mean. I need good lighting to make me look like a human. I need... I mean, whatever, most people don't have that. I need a camera, I guess, is the main thing. I could use the webcam from my laptop, but my laptop is what I 
record off of slash would stream off of. And so it sits on the other side of the room because if you go back and listen to those first two episodes of this, the fan goes nuts. It's a MacBook Pro from last year and clearly they were not built for this. I mean, they're meant to be pros. And to be fair, they've been pretty decent for things like video rendering and stuff. A bit slow. Especially for videos like this. Which have been like an hour long. That's, that takes quite a while to render. Also, I switched to Final Cut and the rendering seems way slower. That might just be settings or something. Premiere seem to go basically instantly for even hour long stuff. But yeah, the fan on my MacBook spins up like crazy when you are... Uh, recording gameplay footage, which you can hear in those first two episodes because it's just a constant in the background of it. So if I brought my laptop any closer to me to use the webcam for it, that's all you'd hear. You'd just hear the constant fan whirring, which I wouldn't be able to do much about. It. So I could buy a webcam. Or a solution I was thinking of doing was buying a... Elga oh God damn it. I'll got to do a thing called Camlink, which is a little thing like their capture cards, but it's for capturing directly from cameras. And I have a little Sony mirrorless that I could use. But that's money and time. Really, I should just do it without, you know, face cam. Oh God, I panicked because he followed me. <laughs> he followed me back. This is even like hard. I'm not dying because this is like a really hard section or anything. I'm just messing up in silly ways. I'm liking the level design though. This bit in particular is very Adventure of Link with the pillars and stuff. For people don't know, Adventures of Link or Adventure of Link? Link's Adventure? I think it's Adventure of Link. I can't remember. Zelda 2 is an NES game. It's a sequel to the original Zelda, which is fully recognizable as like a top-down Zelda game. Like it is very similar. I mean, obviously it's way simpler because it was the first one, but it's very similar to, you know, the things we get later and like Link's Awakening and Link Between Worlds and Link to the Past and stuff like that. But then the sequel to Zelda 2 was weird because it had this like big, you know, open world, like RPG style overworld, and then when you encountered enemies, it turned into like a side scroller like this. Oh, I've, I've messed this up already, haven't I? I think it good. I'm just being impatient as always. I could just kill this guy. He's not that hard. And the bit that's messed me up the last couple of times is, is he's been swooping at me as I've been making that jump over the spinies. Or I could just stand there and get hit by him. That's another option. Um, but yeah, when you encountered enemies or when you went into dungeons, it turned into a side-scroller and it was weird. It's alright. I, I was never the biggest fan of it. But I appreciate it, if that makes sense. Like, you don't have to like a thing to realise that it was, you know, or to recognise that it's cool. Like, I didn't really enjoy playing it. But I appreciate that they tried <laughs> and that they made this weird Zelda thing. The idea that they were like, hey, that Zelda thing we made was super popular and we did great and we need to make a sequel to it. And then what they made was nothing like the first game. Was brave. And then they've never went back to that style again. <laughs> Probably for a reason. Um, it's an interesting game though. Oh, God. Let's go up in the elevator. If I remember right, these kind of like elevators were also a thing that were pretty common in uh, Link's, Link's Adventure. It's called Zelda 2, because I can't remember now. Oh my God, oh my God. What am I doing? <laughs> I wish not even a key over here. Oh, there is. I would have lost that bit. Can you get stuck behind that thing there? Oh, that was stupid. Why did I stop when I was under it? It was like a deer in the headlights. Is there a different key down there? Do I need both? Do I need the other? 
I'm not going to get hit by this fire. Let's hit this checkpoint and then go back. I was kind of hoping it would go, you know, give me a mushroom. I've not really messed about with checkpoints too much. I don't know if it's different games that, like, is it one of the themes that makes you get a mushroom automatically or turn into Big Mario automatically when you hit a checkpoint, or is it, you know, just the thing you can set? Um, I had checkpoints on one of my levels, but I didn't bother. Oh god, damn it! I didn't bother checking. Didn't check my checkpoints. I assume Bowser's gonna have a key. Let's go. Oh no no. Instantly, anyway. Oh, I'm gonna die. This thing is so hard to control. Oh god. Mash, mash, mash. Did it. Against all odds. I like little castle he's built there. Or little fort, fort thing. Yay! Got the Triforce. We won. That was a cool level. It definitely reminded me a lot of Zelda 2. It's impressive how you can get across the feeling of another game with the limited, you know, palette of Mario. It was cool. Wow. All right, on to the next one. Cool level though, Cody. I really enjoyed that. Next up we have I'm Winged, Winged Falling by Magic Kestrel. Magic Kestrel 24 on the forum as well. You see, this level is entirely dependent on the hopping flying book in Super Mario Bros. 3. It's one of the harder ones I've made. For a reminder on the other things that Magic Eshel has made from previous episodes. Oh god, I'm so far behind on Magic Eshel's levels. Um, I've also apparently missed a bunch. Did they just not post these? Uh, Magic Eshel posted, uh, made Coop of the Slow, which I got stuck on for a while. But it wasn't actually that hard. I just made it hard for myself. Oops. And more importantly, Thwomp Romp. <laughs> Which took me a lot of time to beat. I really enjoyed it though. I've enjoyed all of Keshul's levels. One of Keshul's other recent claims to fame is sending in uh, an email to the Waypoint radio podcast to make them talk about Splatoon. Because Splatoon's latest uh, or final Splatfest is. Order versus Chaos, and the lore behind it is absurd, especially if like me and the Waypoint crew, you've not, you don't really follow, you know, the the lore behind Splatoon two. Uh, I've messed this up already, haven't I? Oh, it's an oh scroller. Oh, I hate you, Kestrel. <laughs> um. But yes, I definitely recommend listening to Waypoint Radio's latest episodes. Or by the time this goes up, they'll probably have another one up. But um, the one it'll say Splatoon in the name. You should also go listen to my podcast, Clutch Free Gaming. But that's you know, you should be doing that anyway. I assume, right? This whole scroll is too slow for what you need to do. This is just mean. It's like they designed it entirely around my impatience. Oh, how though? No! Kestrel body, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, this is the meanest level I've played. Okay, that's not true. I'll play for some pretty mean levels through this.
I don't think this is the actual strat. I think that's closer to the actual strat, rather than just waiting for the auto scroll to go. Oh my god. That's like stressful. It's not even that hard to jump, but it's just so stressful. Something I think the fluttering makes it more stressful for me, and I'm not sure why. Oh no. Come on. Well, oh no. Damn it. I don't even know what happened there. <sighs> this is gonna be the whole episode, isn't it? Going from those first two levels to this, they definitely warmed me up a bit, but imagine if I started the episode with this. It would literally have been the whole episode. Oh, no, I may still though. <laughs> Got a lot of the Mario Bros. 3 music. But yeah, I've not played a massive amount of Mario Maker 2 over the last week. It's a little bit of endless mode here and there, but it's really just been for this. Oh my god, that was too impatient. I've been too busy playing other things. Finish fuck your Chronicles. Which I sound so exasperated about, but I, I genuinely love that game. It's just that I got stuck in that last mission for a while, which wasn't even that hard. Similar to, as it turns out, this Mario Maker series is a good insight into how I play games. Oh god, I might as well just die. Um, which is that I make things way too complicated for myself, and so I was making that last mission too complicated for myself when there was a much simpler but slower way to do it. But I was impatient and kept just running all my soldiers in and dying, which, uh, you know, spoilers for military strategy across history. Not, not how you win battles. Don't just run your guys in without a plan and hope for the best. Especially not when you're outgunned. Especially not when it's the final mission. Do you know it's the final mission? Oh, that was so stupid. Oh my god. I'm so bad at this. Right. Oh god, I keep... It's because it does this little hop sometimes. That was just lucky. I like the idea of this level. It's just maybe a bit beyond my abilities to some degree. I'm gonna try to finish it though. I try not to give up on, you know, levels. Oh, I forgot they raise when you sit on them. I thought they fell. That's why I kept jumping between them last time. Oh god. Damn it, Keshul and your goddamn horizontal thwomps. I don't know if that's meant to be an arrow. It was. Oh, thank God. It's a little safe room. Mr. X can't follow me in there. Uh. Oh, God. Hey, Kestrel, buddy. This goes faster than the scroll! Okay, you thought about it. Oh my god. 
This is clearly a smiley face of coins and rail because Keshul knew. Uh, are the blue ones faster or slower? Slower, okay. That was intentional, clearly. And this is the opposite now <laughs> because it's doing all this. What happens to these when they have wings on them? What makes them faster? I had no idea. I didn't know you could put wings on those. Oh, okay. Goodbye, my Yoshi boot. It might have survived. No way known. I did it! I was genuinely worried for a moment there I would not be able to beat that one. It was hard. Say, be careful. This level was an absolute joy, Nick Thick. You're right. Another great level by Kestrel. All of these levels have been great. Next up, we have Rotten Mushroast House by Pulifar. Pulifar on the forum as well. How many plays on this one? And only one clear. So maybe that's why. A few different applications of the rotten mushroom. Let's see how this goes. No replies to it on the forum either. from the start. That was tough. Hmm. There's more up there. Something like that. Oh god. You lunatic. You madman. Oh, I missed that. That was entirely my fault. That wasn't actually your level's fault, as it turns out. That was just me being silly. They're nice enough to give you a one-up at the start. I know that matters because in endless mode you don't get the one-ups until you finish the level. So it doesn't actually let you keep playing it for longer. Why do I keep getting it? My brain is just like, you need that one-up. But you have infinite one-ups. Silly brain. Arr! Silly brain. Too slow for that. Didn't get it this time. Full self-control, that's me. Oh, full self-control pro me is what they call me. Oh no! If you miss that, there is no recovery. You get it right the first time or you don't get it. Give me the spinies. Oh my god. You need to bounce between two of them. You can't just do the one. Okay. So far, doable. Hard, but doable. Oh god. I like the poison mushroom. There's been some real cool levels with the poison mushroom. Um, Patrick... Clepic played on his stream uh, one that was like a a level based on the movie it follows using poison mushrooms and it was great. I need to actually play it myself. Uh, I played one that was like a zombie themed one on episode. Oh, I don't know. There's been nine of them now. Like three or four, I think. I think it was relatively early. I can't remember who made it. I'm really bad at the whole memory thing, as it turns out. I've played a lot of these levels now. I basically just remember Magic... Why did I even hit that? Magic Casual made the one prompt because it destroyed me. That's the main thing I remember. <laughs> Sorry, Kestrel. I've talked to you a bunch. You seem like a nice person. 
with one prompt will remain forever in my memories as one of my favorite and also most loathed levels. <laughs> it was very fun and oh my god. This might end up there as well though. Jesus. Jesus. Pull for we then. Alright, let's keep going, let's keep going, let's keep going, let's keep going, let's keep going. Got that first bit down. That's easy. That's easy. This child's play it's, it's easy, I guess. So I think if poison mushrooms and pipes only spits one out. Oh my god. It's not even as simple as just bouncing between them. Cause sometimes it just sticks there. The poison mushrooms a little bit. It's got a mind of its own. It's basically an NPC. It's tough. I want to be that second clear though. I want, oh my God. I want to increase the chances of more people playing this level. It deserves it. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, the thing that's going to break this series is when someone actually like puts up a full Kaizo level or something that I just can't physically beat it. Oh, there's been levels I've skipped already. Oh my god. I'm just being stupid now. There's been levels that I've skipped already, or not finished already. Not skipped. I've played everything. I, I keep doing that. That same one. Like four times in a row now. Ugh. I had, said I had this bit down. And of course, Murphy's Law. Oh my god. I was wrong. You can recover from that. But it's scary. My poor heart's not gonna be able to take this whole level. Right. God damn, poison mushroom, stay away from me! Damn it. Gotta be a good trick to it. <sighs> right. This time. I should probably get the extra life. I might need them. Ah, the night music. I feel like every episode I talk about how good the music is in this game, but it is so good. Oh my god. Well, I got further. It's just... I feel like I need to jump back to- can you jump back to? Alright, this is gonna be an experimental one. Oh, well, no, the next one's gonna be experimental. I'm going to try and jump two spinies back instead of just one to see if that's doable. If it isn't, I'll die. And if it is, I'll probably still die. But hey. Let's bring the poison mushroom all the way over here. Give myself a little bit of a start. This is another option, actually. Oh god, if I actually land it. If I let enough of them go far forward, then I may be able to just bounce across them to the end and not stop at all. Ah. Because the end's not that long, because I can see it here. Actually, can I see the end of here? Yeah, the end's right there. That's doable. I might not need to stop at all, in which case the mushroom will barely catch up. I think I'll probably still need to stop at the end. Like, I don't think I'll actually be able to get across all of them, the whole thing, because there's only five of them come out. Or four this time. I thought it was five last time. Right, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Ah, it's catching up. No! <laughs> that was... Scary! So is this. I can't hit the button. I can't hit it. Okay. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh 
Gott, oh Gott, oh Gott. Leave me alone, Mushroom Man. Um. What? I don't know if this is what I need to do. I can't do that. No, nope, definitely can't do that. Um, but I presumably need that coin. So I could take that spring and get down there. But how do I get this coin? Oh, <laughs> like that. I was overthinking it. A common, you know, occurrence in this series. What in the earth? Hey buddies, go go over here. Let's get a little mushroom party going. Oh no way, that's probably not something I should say on a video, eh? All right. No, don't hold down the run button. Oh, no, no. Ah, uh, doable though. It's not hard. He stop holding down the run button all the time. Right. So I just jumped and got this. I don't know if that's what you're meant to do, but it's what I'm doing. Because it's hard. Um. Like, wait, what? Since when can that mushroom use the goddamn spring? Monster. Literal monster. Trying to get all those mushrooms together over there. Oh, I missed that. No, 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 no. Stay away from me. Get together. Oh, damn it. This time. This time. I think I've got it down. I just need to actually execute on it. I don't know if this is the last bit of the level though. Maybe more. It's a nice little collection of, you know, little puzzles involving poison mushrooms though. Like multiple different uses of them. Smart. But I always feel more like a, a series of tests rather than like a coherent level. But it is good. Oh no, I need to stop doing that. Right. Oh! <laughs> These donuts are the most cruel part of this whole level. Never mind the stupid, uh, not stupid, you know what I mean. Never mind the spinning bit I was doing before and dying in stupid ways. This. The stupid donut. It's like those big red balls and Wipeout. The TV show Wipeout, not the game. I think it's called Total Wipeout in America. This is called Wipeout in the UK because efficiency. Because efficiency is definitely something that the UK is mostly known for. Right. Then hold the run button! Right, let's get these guys all together. Over here again. Okay, okay, okay. Take it slow. They're relatively slow. Whoa! Did it. What's next? Ended level! That's not even that hard! How did that have one clear? Well... Pull far, hopefully this helps get more people to play your course. I got the world record as well. I know what I'm going to, I'm going to say. Cool idea. I like that level. More people should play it. If you're watching this, Go play it. You know how to beat it. It's not that hard. You'll probably mess up less than I did. And we'll get Polifar's, you know, plays up a bit. Let's come back to Polifar's. Let's follow them. And go to upload the courses. 
It's their only level. Go help them guys clear it up so more people can play it. Since there's three comments, but there was only one there. Oh, this one. This one wasn't showing up. Weird. Anyway, on to the next level. Alright, next up we have Jungle of Coins by Luch. Luch made a handful of other levels. I think we played two of them on here before. Uh, I know no one cares about this bit and I should really just feed through it, but I this from my memory more than anything else. Yes, these ones. Jumper Fight being one of the coolest. I mean, they were all cool, but this Jumper Fight was just real cool. It was, um... Oh, it was the one where you hit the on-off switch and different things, so you could either play through it with more of a, an enemy focus or more of a platforming focus. And it was really smart. I genuinely don't know how he did it. I would like to see. Um... This one has a really high completion rate though, so I'm going to it's pretty decent. I mean, no, the harder levels aren't decent, but you know what I mean. I mean, decent in difficulty. I always worry about accidentally saying something so it sounds like I hate someone's level or something. Uh, I love the 3D world stuff. I know this is a shocking revelation to everyone that watches this. Killed that fish. So, this seems to just be a uh, collect 125 coins. And it's a cool little. I feel like most of the 3D World collect all the coins levels I've done have been in this theme. Which is funny. Um, I think Luch is. or Luch Schaefer on the forums. Um, their post basically said it was their way of trying out 3D World stuff for the first time. So it's not like the most, you know, complex level in the world. It's just a kind of simple coin gathering level, but it's fun. Oh god. This stage is my god, it's forsaken us. What? I would love to know the context for that comment. Maybe I will by the end of it. Maybe there is something secret in this that's brokenly difficult or something. Otherwise, that just seems mean. Uh, can I get through this now that I've lost my cat stuff? That's possibly a problem. I wonder if any of it respawns. There's ten. Um. Hmm. I might need to restart this. I'm two coins short. Too kind of short and don't have the cat power up. Oh, I broke this myself. Can I have these? Yeah, but there's nothing in them. Hmm. Let's have one more go over, see if we've missed two coins somewhere. Oh, a mushroom. Not what I need. Oh, 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 ho, we did it. We'll never get into this little secret room here, but we don't need it. Who cares? This pipe doesn't go anywhere because I checked it before. Memory. Not bad. Yeah, pretty simple. Just nice little collect coins. Good job, Luch. Uh, Luch also had one of their levels played, that same level I was talking about, played on uh, Patrick Klepik's stream, which is cool. It's definitely a much better, you know, get than having it on this. <laughs> Alright, I'll do the next level. Next up we have Spiny Sea, Spiny Saw by Fiery Furnace. I think their name showed up in the comments of one of the previous ones. On oh, literally the last one, I think. Well, no, not literally the last one. Uh, the one before the... the I literally just did it, I can't remember. See what I was saying about the bad memory thing. Um, oh, the Polifar one. They were one of them. Um, their name on the forum is Alubia Lorden, which I don't know. 
So that's pronouncing that right. Or reading it right. But hey. Let's try this. They describe it as an exploration of spiny seesaws and the chaos inherent therein. I did my best to make something that felt like a classic Mario level. That's quite cool. Apparently there's some secrets in here as well. It instantly looks good. My pro tip to easily impress Proto Me is just put a bunch of stuff in the start of your level that makes it look good. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't need to do anything. It just needs to look good. Aesthetics are important. Oh god. Nope. 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 Give me this. That was a bad idea. Why did I jump in straight after that? Hey, there's a checkpoint here though. I could probably get that 10 coins. And hopefully a mushroom. Nope. I'm just gonna die. I didn't realize that my spinies went in the board and they went like that. That's a handy thing to know for the future. Not that I make a lot of war levels. Or levels in general at the moment, really. I've not made a level in a little bit. Fire. Four coins. Easy. Oh, this is like a. <laughs> oh, I only spelled one out though. If I spam more out, it'd be like a pachinko thing, but you're already at the bottom of it. But it doesn't seem to spawn them out when you're down there. Oh, why am I trying to go through the pipe when there's a door right there? Oh, I imagine being at the bottom of a pachinko machine is just... Terrifying. Let's go in the pipe. Oh no. A water level. It's a good thing I got this fire flower. Wait. There's nothing down here. There's mushrooms. And spinies. Put spinies in the walls though, that's a nice look. Like I said, aesthetics, they're important. I think they definitely nailed the feeling of, you know, making it feel like a Mario level. I should probably kill that last big spiny. I don't think I ever got anything from it. No, my fire! It has done me so well. Uh, oh my god, these constantly dropping spinies everywhere is terrifying. I think there's water under everything so you can kind of recover. I assume this is a good thing by the start. Yeah, I saw the doors there. But the fact there's two means there's another place you could fall off. Alright, let's ignore it all and go up here. That's right. Nope, that's not right. Oh, I can't get back down now. I doomed myself. Even though Mario can't do it. Oh! Fall through them. Oh, the other one's just here. Okay. I thought it was gonna be like split sections, and the second section would take you back to a different door. But no, it's just, it's just here. Whew. It's not actually that hard. You need to do it. It's just scary. It looks scary. Once you're actually doing it, it's fine. Hey, Wiggler. Regular Wednesdays. This video won't go up on Wednesdays. <laughs> I'm not recording on Wednesday either, for full reference. I like that one. I say that with every level, but I I do mean it. That was, it felt like a Mario level. It was nice. Good job, Fire Furnace. I look forward to playing whatever other levels you make as well. Now we have Curse of the Were Raccoon by Nico Cat, or Simple and Clean on the forum. You see, this is their first attempt to try and like commit to a theme, 
and see how well they can stretch the Mario mechanics to make it fit. It's not very difficult, it's just about, you know, mechanical, or sorry, about the theme. That's what happens when you don't actually read the thing directly. Yeah, 76% completion rate sounds not too difficult. Um, Nico Kart previously made the Save Monty level that we played a few episodes ago. Um, which was the most adorable level ever because you reunite Monty Mole with his family. And it was cute. Defeating at least 30 fish boats. Oh god. It's Magic Koopa torn me into a raccoon, is that what this is? Of course. What? That's so confused. Oh no. Oh no! Give me, give me a goddamn leaf. I don't need this. Oh, that is the worst place I could put that. Okay, so you're just getting trash. Which is, of course, the fish bones that you need to finish the level. That's pretty good. Let's go into this house. <laughs> Murder everyone in this. <laughs> that old man voice effect is very good. I assume they don't have the sweet, sweet trash that I need now that I'm stuck in this raccoon suit forever. What about these lights though? I can't get up because I'm bad at this. Ugh. Ugh. I think this needs a much build, bigger build up than the cape does. Okay, I definitely need to try to get that one. Come on, there we go. No? There we go. I've not played Mario 3 in a while. Definitely nothing with the raccoon. These people just walking down the street. Oh, the were raccoons on the prowl. Give me your trash. I need to stop doing that with Koopa shells. Can I go on the roof? I'm liking the theme of this level. It's fun. Can I get to this one? No, oh, there's nothing. <laughs> it's a smart level. I'm really worried about what exactly this establishment is meant to be. With what appears to be these cage dancers up here. And these fire chits. But I will take their trash regardless. This is definitely a good and effective way of making, you know, buildings. Make everything looks recognizable as a thing. I wonder if there's extra skeleton fish, dry fish, whatever they're called. Because it seems like it'd be quite easy to miss some. But I assume so because the competition rate's really high. And people would probably just stop playing if the if it was really hard to find like the last two of them or something. Or to miss a bunch of them. Oh my god, like that. Yeah, because at least some of these have that. I need those coins. Probably need these coins. Give me my trash fish. All right, there is extra fish. 
Don't know why I'm still trying to collect them all. I'm just that much into the raccoon gimmick now. We don't really have raccoons in the UK. I don't know. But not in Scotland at least. I really only know about them from, you know, American culture. Which of course is globally pervasive. <laughs> Probably jump on top of that. Oh, come on. I'm dedicated to this. When I try to break something, I don't give up. Oh, so close. One more try, and then I'll actually just finish the level. There we go. I did it! I'm the greatest Mario player of all time. This is long! What did I skip? There's like, there's like a whole level back here. Whoops. Okay, just filled, filled with enemies. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we don't have really have raccoons in Scotland, as far as I'm aware. The animal of choice for animal that rummages through your bins at night would probably be foxes. We have quite a lot of foxes, especially... Uh, I live kind of on the outside of a city and yeah, we have a lot of foxes. I used to live more countryside-ish and... Foxes everywhere. They're adorable. Don't feed them. That's a cool level. Yeah, like I said, sticks its theme. Not super difficult, but a really good thematic level. I really liked it. Good job, Nico Cat. Next up, and last up for this one, we're gonna have Desert Plant Hop by James Tarr. Team Star again, someone that we've played a lot of levels of from the previous episodes, and they've all been pretty good. Uh, let's try it. Make your way across the desert. High completion rate again, so probably good in terms of difficulty. Short and sweet. Good old Mario Brothers. All faithful. Not be able to spin jump on spinies is so hard to go back to. Especially having played levels this very evening, this very recording session that require you to spin jump on spinies. So it becomes part of your, you know, part of your instincts. Oh god. I really like how Super Mario Bros. looks in this game. Oops. The kind of drop shadow they add to everything is a simple addition and then they updated all the sprite work. Well, not all the sprite work, but some of the sprite work's updated. Like, if you go back and actually play Super Mario Bros., like, this Mario Maker looks so much nicer. They've done work to it. It's night and day. It also plays a bit better. Well, arguably. Because it plays kind of New Super Mario Bros. ish. That was a nice short one. I enjoyed that. Desert theme's good. Plants are good. Nothing too complicated. Very fun. Good stuff. Alright. And that's going to do it for this episode. Check out all the previous episodes if you enjoyed this and haven't watched them or rewatched them, maybe, I don't know. I did a kill montage video thing, because the panelists we do on YouTube. So I took all the boring bits throughout the episodes where I don't die and uh, took those out. 
We should do a version that's the opposite. Um, and then put a video together is just the deaths. You can view that here. It's only for the first two episodes because I'm not crazy. Um, subscribe to the channel. Watch our videos. Whatever else I missed, you know the shtick. See you next time.